Hello, VYC note flighters. Um, as you can see, I added a lot to what I previously did, and that's just so I can show you sort of the main point of this video, which is text and learning how to use uh, text for dynamics, lyrics, instructions, whatever in note flight. I find that this is sometimes a part where um, things get really complicated. So I'm hoping to kind of simplify the um the process firstly you can see that there are sort of phantom like the phantom note there are phantom uh text that they put in automatically for title subtitle composer and lyricist so i'm gonna type in bad guy because as you know i'm sort of doing a little arrangement of bad guy um and the composer is billy eilish Um, and then I could even press if I, uh, it, all you have to do is click them to change them. It's pretty easy. Um, it's definitely the easiest text by far to do on note flight. But if I wanted to type in Billie Eilish and then I wanted to say arranged by Jess Marler, all I would do is press return and then say R Jess Marler. There we go. Look at that. Now for the lyricist, I'm guessing that Billie Eilish was the lyricist. So I'm just going to click and write Billie Eilish here. Awesome. And look, we're all ready to go. Now you can see that I have my baseline. I fleshed it out um, to be the, the actual baseline in the song. And now here is where the text begins. This is where the voice comes in. And this is the first note of the voice. So I am going to want to add in the lyrics here. And as you can see up on this sort of um, keypad that we have here, the, the keypad we've been using the whole time, we don't have any markings. Oh, let me expand that. Uh, we don't have any markings for lyrics or dynamics. Now, these five things are chosen by note flight as kind of the most common things that you're going to be using. But this keypad here is customizable to what you need. And it's super easy to change things, to add things, to remove things throughout the compositional process. So you don't need to decide um, before you start your piece what kind of things you want here. You can just always add. And you add by cr pressing this little um, three lines in the left hand corner. You press that and look at all these different things that come up. I mean, really anything you could want to do, you can find here. So I, I want you guys to take a second to just kind of explore what different things you can do in here. But for now, I'm gonna be wanting to uh, use text. So I'm gonna check the text uh, and you can see that text appeared right here. Now these orange, uh, these orange arrow marks expand or uh, like contract or I guess reduce uh, whatever you see. So since I'm working with text, I'm gonna want that expanded just so I see all of the options. Now you can see I have a lot of options. I have a lyric option that I can just key command by control L, which is awesome. I have performance text, which I can just type T to access and expression text, which is this, because I'm using a Mac, uh, the command key and then an E, but I believe on a Windows, it's just command or control uh, E for this. And then there's a bunch of other th fun things like rehearsal letters and uh, super titles and whatever you need. But for now, I'm just gonna show you how to enter in lyrics. So I'm going to click lyrics here, and then I'm gonna write them in on my keyboard. And then I press space, and it automatically goes to the next note to put in that text. Now I don't need another, uh, I don't need another word over this, uh, eighth note because it's tied so I'm just going to press space again to go to the next one now and then I'm going to press space because again I do not need another text over this tied note and then etc etc make sense 
Okay. Now, if I want to delete any text, remember that nothing is going to get deleted unless I select and it becomes orange what I want to delete. So if I were to press the delete key now, I would delete that whole measure and I don't want to do that. So I click way outside the frame. There we go. And I click on this, etc. here. I really want that deleted. I don't want that there. So I'm going to press delete. And now you see that this note is highlighted. So if I were to press delete again, I would not delete this next, etc. I would delete that note. So you have to make sure that you are clicking and deleting uh, as you go through the text. That is going to, that's a really important thing to remember that whenever you want to delete something, make sure what is highlighted in orange is exactly what you want to delete. Um, or else you're going to run into a mess of problems, which I can always help you get out of. So Let's just imagine that I did accidentally delete that note here and I deleted it and I'm like, oh no, where did that go? I'm going to have to figure out what note that was again. Uh, don't worry if you do something and you have no idea how to fix it. I have a very easy solution and it's command Z. Command Z. I'm actually going to type this out here. Command Z is undo. That is an awesome tool. If you ever feel like you mess up and you want to start over, just type Command Z and see if that helps you. Okay, so now I actually want to keep writing in the lyrics here. So I'm going to double click on this uh, red press, and that sort of reselects the lyrics. So I'm going to put in the lyrics now and then there we go we got that whole phrase now Billie Eilish kind of sings this in a very slurred way all of her words are kind of tied together like white shirt uh, so I want to create a slur over all of these things now the only way that you're going to find what you need is if you make sure that you have what you need checked off and just kind of go through and be like, where is slur? Let's find that. Oh, look, it's an articulation. So I'm going to click articulation and it appears right here. And it seems that I can just do a slur by pressing S. So let's try that now. Click way outside. So I'm going to click this C and then I'm going to click this note here to select the whole phrase. Now that I have the whole phrase selected, it is going to allow me to create a slur over all of these notes if I just press S, which I did. And there's my slur. Look at that. Beautiful. Okay, now you can see that this kind of cuts out the text, um, which I'll definitely explain how to do that. But a really easy way is just going into the slur and see this little icon, it'll allow you to shift that up a little bit. So just shift it where you want. Um, and that will kind of eliminate this problem of having it cut off. All right, so now what if I wanted to tell the singer to sing this, uh, you know, with, with anxiety or with joy or with whatever, I would want to add a performance text. So I'm gonna go up to text and I'm going to click this nice T right here for performance text. I'm gonna click that and I'm gonna say moody. <laughs> kind of silly, but kind of true. Um, so now I have this moody selected that appears right above the vocal line. What if I wanted to give the bass some sort of performance text as well? Maybe I'll tell the bass that they should play joyfully. <laughs> Not entirely true, but uh, will do. It will automatically create space. It's not the prettiest thing, but it will do the trick, and I'm sure your TAA can help you adjust as you need if uh, you want to really line that up well. Um, 
And if that's something that everyone really wants to know, I will do another video of it It's kind of, uh, at another time. But for now, there are some awesome tools to add in different articulations and text into your score. So for now, I'm gonna do, get rid of the joyfully and moody by pressing Control Z. Okay, so now what if I want to give Billy's line um, some dynamic marking? All I'm going to do is I'm going to click on the note where I want that to begin, and I'm gonna go up to text and move over to this uh, F, this expression text, this forte sign. And I'm gonna click that, and I want it in piano. So I'm gonna press a little P right there. And then once I click out of that box, it will create that beautiful uh, ex uh, dynamic text that we like. When, and let's try this again for the bass line. I want the bass line to be kind of loud. So I'll press that uh, forte sign again, and it will give me the option to type it in myself. I'm just gonna press a lowercase f, and you can either click outside of that box with your mouse, or you can just press return, and it will show right up. Now that I have my dynamic markings, my lyrics, my slur, I'm gonna wanna show, maybe, maybe I wanna put in a crescendo here. So that's pretty easy to do. We go back to these three lines in the left-hand corner, scroll all the way down, and I believe, yes, it's in dynamic. So if I click dynamics, my dynamic uh, keypad will show up, and I can add a crescendo here. Now, if I just click crescendo, it won't really know what to do or where to put one, or you might get a phantom crescendo somewhere. So you have to always make sure that before you add a crescendo, you select the phrase you want to crescendo using by clicking the first note and clicking the last note while holding down shift. And then when everything is selected, I press that crescendo button and it appears right there. Now, if I want to see how it looks without it being highlighted, I just press way outside the way outside the frame, and there we should be good to go. All right, now what if I wanted to add a nice articulation on this note? That means adding a staccato or a tenuto or an accent. So it's very easy to add accents. You just have to click and select the note you want to be accented. And for this case, I want to access, accent um, this C right here. So I'm gonna go up to articulation and I'm going to hit that accent mark and it should appear right below the note. Now that'll work for, that same process will work for any of these like accents, staccato, tenuto, um, or whatever you want. All right, thanks note flighters. I'm excited to hear about what you are trying out. Maybe you can try and arrange one of your favorite songs on note flight and uh, see how it goes. If you have any questions as usual, as usual, just drop a comment in the comment section and I'll be sure to get to it. Um, I hope you have a fun time and happy composing.